Here is my wooden circuit board. The price of copper, as it is, I think wood is king. So it all seems to be working quite well. The weakness where the worst connections are is to this breadboard. So it's the, the this part is very stable and very strong. Very happy with that. Well, hello all. Yesterday I made a rain detector circuit. It's got a funnel here. When the rain falls in here, there's a pie pico that um, detects the rain. This, there's a, a like a rain switch here. It's just two leads and when water falls on the two leads, it closes the circuit, sets off the pico. Then we built a little audio amplifier and we took a headphone speaker and then there's lots of wire here so that we can put our rain gauge out in the rain. Let's demonstrate how it works. We're going to pour some water into here. You see how it starts up and the siren goes off. And it keeps on going to wake me at two in the morning so I can go out and catch the rain coming down the road and funnel it into my fish ponds. Let's pour the water back out and hopefully stop the sound. There we go. So that stopped it. But now all of this is just very fragile. It's just loosely connected and it's hardly, you know, going to, it's hardly going to, um, well, it's all the connections are loose. So let's show you how we can make a cheap, permanent, circuit board out of wood real easy real cheap i haven't seen this done before but i think it's a super great idea i've done it many times before let's show you how you make a circuit board out of wood cost you nothing so yesterday i advised drawing out the circuit and you will see that the circuit has got a speaker that is two holes a transistor that means we're gonna to have to drill three holes because it's so that's two plus three is five two for the resistor six seven two for the capacitor eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen holes and we can drill them more or less where the components are we can drill the holes onto our block so i'm going to transfer from i'm going to transfer um all the components from this breadboard onto this block and i'm just going to draw was it 13 holes that we need in more or less the order of the circuit diagram and then we're going to transfer the components to this block let me show you how we do it so here i have drawn the circuit onto the block and I'm going to drill holes there, there, there for the transistor, there for the resistor, there for the capacitor, there for the power supply and four holes here, the leads that the Pico might use. So what I've got is I have tiny little nails. So I'm going to, once I've drilled the holes, put the components into here and nail them in with these tiny little nails and that's going to hold the um that's going to hold the components and the wires in so just see how easy this is so we'll put another block underneath in case we go too far and let's start drilling the holes. So there are all the holes now drilled into our new wooden breadboard. Now we just have to transfer the wires and the components onto the circuit. So let's do that. 
so we pull the resistor out and the resistor goes in there and that hole so there we've already transferred the resistor to let's bring this a bit closer or the uh, capacitor so the capacitor's got the positive on this side negative on the other so there's the capacitor in the hole make sure the legs don't touch now perhaps the hardest is the uh, collector base CBE collector base emitter so as we look at it from the front it's collector base emitter So that's now in, it's, that's in, that was perhaps the hardest one to get in, collector base emitter, then that's it, the, those are the three components, then we just need to wire, to get little bits of wire, and I'm going to um, not use insulated wire, I'm just going to find some cheap wire to uh, put between them so here i have a whole lot of this just ordinary um, wire and we just cut off a little piece and now we just need it more or less the sizes that we're going to use so from there to there And this piece is going to go from here to there. So there's the one piece of wire already in there. And we just repeat that. So the next wire I'm going to put in collector to collector to resistor there that's in But I want the ground to come to the power plug, which is going to be where I'm placing it now. There is going to be the power plug. That looks a little bit too long. So let's just shorten that. And there, that looks better. Uh, we've got all the things we needed now. And now I'm going to start hammering in nails to hold everything in place. So we get a hammer. We get nails.
this is basically the interesting part of it. Now we may have to pull these out because we need one, another lead has got to go from here to the pico. So I'm, I'm going to put the lead in there, the lead that goes from there to the pico. So let's grab a lead and put it in before we nail it down. And then So that's now secured. That's secured. So this is going to go to the center of this power plug. So this power plug is going to go over that. It has to fit over, so we're just going to cut the head off. And now this will fit over that. And then the negative one is going to be here it's going to touch and I'm going to put them as close I'm going to lean it so that it's as close as possible so our power supply is going to supply power like this and so that negative touches the outside the positive touches the center and that is how we're going to supply our power so that circuit Barring one nail, which is just this last one, is done. And now everything is held in place and it's permanent. Um, I'm going to have to do a little bit of soldering here and here these wires that came off from the speaker so that's just two places I've got to solder and um, yeah so there's our circuit it's basically done I hope you found that interesting Now we have all our components in place and the circuit is working. So our only weak point in the circuit is this breadboard is old and it's not here where, the, where there are any breaks or any chance. This is very robust. It's these wires, the four wires that plug into our breadboard that might give us a slight problem. So it all seems to be working quite well. The weakness where the worst connections are is to this breadboard. So it's the, the this part is very stable and very strong. Very happy with that.